We're going to turn now to the other news at home tonight, the urgent hunt for crucial pieces of that Chinese spy balloon. U.S. officials now revealing the balloon was equipped for surveillance, but also for monitoring communications. And tonight there's more pressure on the White House to justify allowing it to fly over sensitive sites. Here's our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, tonight. Tonight, the search for that all-important payload from the Chinese spy balloon intensifying, a Navy hovercraft cutting through the Atlantic. Navy divers who specialize in handling explosives looking for possibly dangerous debris. The FBI examining every scrap recovered, but conceding that much of the evidence remains on the ocean floor. The administration today saying there is no doubt the balloon's equipment was for intelligent surveillance and not what you'd find on a weather balloon, as the Chinese have claimed. On Capitol Hill, Pentagon officials grilled about why it wasn't shot down when it first crossed into U.S. airspace over Alaska. As an Alaskan, I am so angry. To me, the clear message to China is we got free range in Alaska. Both of Montana's senators saying the balloon should never have made it to their state. I don't want a damn balloon going across the United States uh, when we potentially could have taken it down over the Aleutian Islands. But military commanders did not deem the balloon to be a hostile, imminent threat when it was over Alaska. The Pentagon insists shooting it down over those icy waters would have made it too hard to recover debris and with it crucial intelligence. Shooting it down over land, they say, it would have endangered lives. The recommendation was made to shoot the balloon down over an area that minimized the risk to U.S. citizens. But Montana's other senator argues that wouldn't have been an issue in his state. The greatest risk would have been hitting a cow, a prairie dog, or an antelope. The State Department saying tonight that the balloon was capable of high-resolution surveillance and intercepting communications, but officials say military bases and nuclear missile sites took steps to protect sensitive information, and they're confident that none was collected. David? All right, Martha Raddatz on this story again tonight. Martha, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.